I want to start by letting you know that I bought this rifle. I'm not sponsored in any way by the company that produced this rifle. And I think that's so important because so many times on YouTube, somebody gets paid to endorse a product or do a review and they get it out of the box and they talk about its features and benefits and they sell it to you. And that's not me at all. I bought this rifle with the intent of hunting with it and I have just been so pleased with it. I'm a person that, you know, just like I'm sure a lot of you, I've got a family, I'm a working man, and every penny is important. And when I buy something, I want it to last. This specific rifle is a CVA Cascade. It was the first bolt action rifle that CVA came out with. For those of you in the gun industry, CVA is known for muzzle loaders, and that's been their bread and butter. And they've teamed up with Bergara uh, to make the barrels for this rifle, and it just it turned out awesome. Since the first year that they came out with just the basic CVA Cascade, they've come out with quite a few other variations. So there's the Cascade XT, then the SR80, and the VH, and now the LRH. So obviously, I got in at the ground floor when they first came out because that they were at a great price point. When I was looking for rifles, I was looking for something with Cerakoted. I wanted a threaded barrel, and what I was looking for in particular was a 300 Win Mag. I had a 30 out 6 I've got a 6.5 PRC, I've got a 5.56, a 22, shotguns, all that stuff. And I was specifically looking for the 300 Win Mag for future Alaska hunts. And I was really going to dial it in for elk because I hunt elk in Washington and Idaho. The Cascade comes in 21 calibers, so you're going to find the cartridge that you're looking for. Another great feature that you can hang your hat on is there is a Cascade Accuracy Guarantee meaning that as of the time of this video that you have 14 days from the time of purchase to take that thing out, shoot it, and if it's not hitting sub MOA, then you can send it back in and, and get another copy. I took this rifle out and with cheap ammo right out of the box, I was getting sub MOA. Just your standard green box Remington core lock at 100 yards was getting sub MOA. Equally as important to the rifle is the optics that you put on it. The VX 3HD 4.5 by 14 by 40 is what the rifle scope is on here. And I chose that for multiple reasons. Number one, Leupold, assembled in the USA, great warranty, been around for a long, long time. I like this scope because it's lightweight and I could get a custom engraved turret, meaning I could send in to Leupold my the bullet bead elevation that I'm going to be hunting as well as the load that I'm using and they'll custom engrave this turret. So instead of having to look and see, okay, how many MOA do I need to dial to? If it if my rangefinder says 500 yards, I can spin my dial to 500 and know with confidence that I'm going to be hitting. The scope also is only 13.3 ounces. I know some of you will say by looking at this setup here that it's like, man, you got, you know, it's six or $700 rifle there, but then you're throwing on a $600 scope and then you got a suppressor on there that's another a thousand bucks. Like really it's not a budget setup. The key here is the core rifle is an awesome rifle. I mean, that thing is shooting sub MOA, got all the bells and whistles when you go with that rifle. So what I've done on here is basically spend modest amount on the rifle and then put the money on the other components that are really going to make this thing a long range capable gun. I'm a huge proponent of get a solid foundation of a rifle, spend more on your optics because you don't want to spend $7,000 on a custom rifle and $100 on a scope and you spend three hours in the dark hiking up a mountain. You go to put those crosshairs on an animal and then it's fogged up. That's the last thing you want. Or you spend all day driving around the side by side, you pull your rifle out to take a shot and you miss because now all of a sudden it's shooting foot high because it's been bumped around. I've spent multiple days with this rifle getting banged around in a side-by-side, -side, took it out to the range, and it was still hitting sub MOA. I've, a lot of people are asking, hey, what should I go with as far as a rifle goes? And without hesitation, I, I throw out the CVA Cascade. It's just, you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. I'm looking right now as of February, 2024, and it looks like about 699 bucks is what Sportsman's got it listed for. And that's just, it's a lot of value when you start looking at it and comparing to its peers. This is a side topic, but once you go suppressed, man, it's hard to go back to non-suppressed. I shot a deer right next to my son this last year in a blind with a 6.5 PRC, and he had hearing protection on for the first shot. I was right next to some private ground that I, I knew that the folks, but I just didn't want to deal with uh, chasing a deer potentially over on their property. And I put a second shot in, and he had taken off his hearing protection after the first shot, and then I took that second shot. He didn't know that was going to happen, and that suppressor, it's just quiet. In hunting, there's never a perfect scenario where, hey, I'm going to have plenty of time to put my hearing protection in and oh my kids and my hunting partners will too it, it just is a lifesaver for ears and it is a huge recoil reduction also i mean this is a 300 win mag and when i shoot this it really is kicking less than my 6.5 prc unsuppressed you're just gonna not have a flinch you're gonna be able to watch your impacts and there's a couple companies out there that will help you with the paperwork it's electronic now and to me it's worth it you wind up with a suppressor that is depending on what you buy mine's made out of titanium it's gonna last a lifetime in my kids lifetime and it's just gonna 
make hunting more enjoyable. In initially, I got it for them, uh, but man, I'm actually enjoying it for me. So I highly recommend it if you've got the coin to spend uh, and the time to wait. I hope everyone got some value out of this. And keep in mind that every print of every gun is gonna be a little different, so you might have different experiences. I just have been so happy with mine with this gun. I kept this really high level, but if there's any specifics you'd like me to dive into, I'm more than happy to. Throw a comment down below and we'll see if I can do a deep dive, whether it be suppressor, the mounting system I put I used for the Picatinny on the front end for my for my bipod, or the scope, or I can go deeper dive into all these aspects, but I really wanted to keep it high level as to like, hey, here is just a great rifle at a great price point without getting too far into the weeds. So I appreciate you watching and uh, I hope you enjoy the content.